In this video, we're going to find the sign of an algebraic expression involving trig functions, okay? Determined by whether or where t um, as a real number or the terminal point associated with that uh, lies in a, in a specific quadrant or in a given quadrant, okay? So one thing to kind of review before we get into that, remember in quadrant 1, all six trig functions are positive. In quadrant 2, sine and cosecant are the only two positive ones. The other four are negative. In quadrant 3, tangent and cotangent are positive. The other four are negative. And in quadrant 4 here, cosine and secant are positive. The other four would be negative there, okay? So we want to find the sine of the expression. In this case, the, the expression is the product of cosecant of a real number t and tangent of a real number t. And we know that t and the terminal point associated with t are in quadrant 4, okay? So what we need to do, cosecant in quadrant 4 is going to be negative, okay? Tangent in quadrant 4 is going to be negative. So the product of two negative values, it doesn't matter what value they have, okay? The product of two negative values is going to be positive. So that product has to be positive in quadrant 4, okay? No matter what t is, okay? Uh, cosecant of that t times tangent of that t is going to be a positive number, all right? Let's do one more example. Secant of t times sine of t. So we get a product again, and we know t and the terminal point associated with t lie in quadrant 2, okay? So in quadrant 2, secant is negative because sine and cosecant are positive there, okay? In quadrant 2, sine is positive, all right? So the product of those two, again, it doesn't matter what t is. It doesn't matter what the secant of t is. It's negative. I know that. So the product is a negative value times a positive value. So the product secant times sine must be negative, okay? And that's how you use the signs of these trig functions to evaluate what the sign of the product or quotient, whatever it may be. Both these examples were products, uh, but you can determine the sign of the expression uh, based on what we know about what trig functions are positive in which quadrants, okay?